No, we're going to talk about the main event because I told you so. Okay, let's go, let's go. I told you so. <laughs> what do you mean you told me so? I, I said, agreed with you. I know you did. You okay. did. I'm not going to say you didn't. <laughs> but Jamal Hill's got power. This The guy's lanky, but, man, he can swat, and Johnny Walker's chin mm. has been dented. And it got it, it's funny because he didn't get hit on the chin with that shot. No. The one that, that hurt him was off of that temple. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it shut him down. And the way he fell, yeah. and then the next shot he took, it was like oh, you didn't need that one. Yeah. But I blame I the ref. He wasn't you... in a good spot, man. He should have been there faster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember who the ref was, but I'm being an Jason asshole. Jason Herzog. 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 Yeah, you're picking. Her you're... Honestly, had it been a different ref, they would have. He would have taken two more shots because yeah. Herzog's the fastest one in there right now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's he's springing yeah. around, bouncing around. I sometimes when I would fight, this is when he was early in his refereeing career. He'd be bouncing around so much. I'd be like, which one of you guys am I fighting? Settle, settle down <laughs> over there, buddy. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? I feel like I'm fighting two people. But Jason Herzog yeah. is a fantastic referee. Fantastic. Yes, he is. He's a fantastic person. Yes, he is. Just a great guy who, man, you talk about a guy that he does it for all the right reasons. Mm -hmm. I talk about it all the time. You know, it's all about the fighters. It's all about what can we do to be better for them. It's all about who can I help to make that person better. That's what makes Jason Herzog special. Great guy. Yes, he is. But Jamal Hill, that's a big win. That's two in a row. He's looking good. The guy can fight on the feet because he was marching Johnny down. He was just crushing the space on him. And, you know, Johnny's got that long frame and he's got that beautiful front push kick that he uses and stuff. But he was never in a position to, to do damage to Hill during their encounter in that first round. He was always on the defense, really. Although there was some offensive technique, he could not, he was not comfortable. You could tell that he was not comfortable with, yeah. with what was happening and the way that Hill was approaching him. You can tell when someone's not comfortable, John, when they start trying to do like, they say they're gonna throw a knee, but they pull it back. They're gonna throw a yeah. kick and they don't finish the kick, they pull it back. Because they're trying to find the range and they're just, it's yep. not there. So that's when you know they're not comfortable. Like they sometimes they'll switch their stance if like they're going to do a technique, and they stop. They stop switching and they go back to the stance because they knew it was out of range. That means that they're not finding their range. They're not comfortable in what's going on. And Johnny Walker was doing that quite a bit just in that short period of time that he was in the cage. Yeah. And the yep. other thing <clears throat> is that he loads up on everything. Like there's a lot of over. What's it called? When you're just wasted movement is what I'm looking for, is that he has a lot of wasted movement in things that he doesn't need to. If he just stayed tight with a lot of his stuff, he loads up, he opens up before he throws. There's a lot of wasted movement, and, and it's almost like a telltale that it's he's ready tell. to throw something hard. Right. And so yep. if you're fighting him, which Jamal Hill was doing, he was just basically staying composed. He was walking yep. him down, making him waste energy and exerting wasted movement, and he was opening up every time he wasted that movement and it made it easier for Jamal Hill to get his shots in. I yeah. thought Jamal Hill fought a great fight. Um, Johnny Walker, he had some moments against the fence where he would look like he was just trying to force the takedown instead of util utilizing the technique and his ability to drop down on the legs. He was in the body lock. He just tried to, like, drag Jamal Hill down, and Jamal Hill kind of got that look on his face like, I'm too relaxed. I'm just kind of <laughs> filling you out right now. He was giving him the flow like water type thing, and I got to be honest. He looked impressive in this fight. Now, I'm not saying he's going to look impressive, you know, moving forward against top-level talent. And Johnny Walker leaves himself open to get hit. And like you said, his chin has been dented. He's still tough. He's still going to be one of those guys. going to be a hard fight for almost anybody. But if you can catch him on the chin, you can turn the lights out. Fight could be a short night tonight. And, you know, for Jamal Hill, it was a short night. Yeah, well, you got to, you know, let's be honest. Jamal Hill had the one setback against Paul Craig. Anyone can get caught, especially against a good grappler, in which Paul Craig is. Got his arms snapped. That shows, you know what, he wasn't a guy that was giving in, wasn't giving up. You hear um, that, Dave? We're giving your Scottish boy some love. Absolutely. Apparently not. Apparently not. What did he saying he didn't give up. <laughs> no, Jamal Hill didn't like, give up. Like, oh, Jamal Hill did not his give arm. up. <laughs> he had to snap his arm for the fight to end. That's when the referee ended it because his opponent was so tough, even getting his arm snapped. Did not quit, you know. Damn that's John, a tough dude. Let's let's we're gonna all right. Next time that we meet up with Dave, we're gonna <laughs> snap his arm and see if he quits. Yeah. But really, you take a look. If you and, touch Dave, he'll quit. <laughs> you don't even have to snap his <laughs> arm. You just touch him. That's that's his only loss, his only setback in his career, 
And if you're looking at Johnny Walker now, he's had a lot of setbacks four of his last five fights or losses. That's, you know, that's going in the wrong direction. He, he had that hype train behind him because mm-hmm. he had some big wins there for a little bit against some good, talented guys. But, that, you know, Corey Anderson started that, you know, when Corey knocked him out. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's not getting any better for him. I think Johnny needs to take more time off, you know, take some time away from the cage. Yeah. Get yourself straight. Let your brain get some, you know, some time away from being uh, rattled yeah. and then bring yourself back. Yeah. I, th- I think he needs to learn how to wrestle. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, like I'm not taking anything away from, but you gotta, you gotta adapt your game. If you want to be in this sport a little bit longer than you have been. <clears throat> so if he's going to do yeah. that, he, he needs to learn how to close that distance and stay out of that boxing range and that kickboxing <sighs> range, you know, and there's times to be in there. Once you've already slowed the fighter down a little bit with some more wrestling, some more jujitsu, some more press against the fence, knees and elbows. I think you just start grinding on people. Look, Jim Miller has been around for a long time. You want to know why? Look at the way he fought. You want to know why? The way he fought was a little bit like Bernard Hopkins. Every time he stepped in for his combinations, he stayed covered up with his shoulders. He threw big shots, got in close enough to the clinch to land body shots, and then he circled out or he grabbed. So it kind of minimizes the amount of times you're going to take big shots. If you stay on the outside of someone who's younger, faster, Jamal Hill was faster than Johnny Walker. Maybe not younger. I don't know their ages. I don't know if he's younger. but. But I'm simply saying... In that's the way Jim Miller's been around, been able to be around for a long time. Bernard Hopkins fought well into his forties. I mean, he might be still he might be still 50. fighting. I don't even know. Like he's 50. still. That's what I'm saying. Fifty years old, dude. Because of his style, he won a championship at fifty. His style is that way. He would step in, throw big shots, try to hit you, and he didn't. He'd grab you and clinch you, so then you couldn't hit him back. That was what he did. And so Johnny Walker's gonna have to start gearing his, I think, his style that way. He's got a good push kick. He's got good knees. He's got to work on maybe some elbows and those clinches, but he's got the the strength and the body frame to keep people pressed against the fence. He's going to have to reinvent himself a little bit. It's going to take some time. And that maybe will get that time off will let his brain heal. Yeah. I mean, it, look, he's still young because he's 29. But when you take shots and you get knocked out that way, the way he got knocked out with Corey, mm-hmm. the way he just got knocked out, you know, in this fight with Jamal, and I know he's been knocked out earlier in his career. And I always say, man, you get knocked out three times, it's starting to tell you yeah. you're going to start having some problems and these things can last. And so just take some time off. You know, you can train. You just, you know, don't spar a whole lot, but work on your technique and, and figure out the approach that will help your body type. Because he's got, man, you talk about the body type for that weight class, six foot six. He is, you, he yeah. is your long, tall, and lanky at a heavier weight. Mm-hmm. He's got the, you know, the God-given skills that are there. He's just got to figure out how to utilize them so he's not taking shots because his chin goes up in the air a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was a clean shot. He didn't do anything wrong in the combination of the nope. just not keep his defense up. He just got caught. That was the biggest thing. He got caught and right and on like, the temple. You know, getting caught where he got caught, that's not a place that you normally defend against. Yeah. It's just not. Even if he had his zone. hand up, it probably wouldn't have been like right about his jaw and his cheekbone. Yeah. It would have got yeah. caught. It'd probably been right still here. On, the, on the temple. But you said yeah. tall, long, and lanky. <clears throat> and I want to make sure that everyone knows I got a lot of tweets because Dom's been throwing out the tall, long, and lanky. Hey, Dom. I want. I want. I'm going to be collecting. Okay, on that. Well, my percentage. My percentage on you using that term, buddy. I got a lot of love for Dominic Cruz, man. Have fun with it. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I could be an influencer. All right, everyone. Go to mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Wayne in, and you can make bets on every sport there is: basketball, tennis, soccer, golf, and even during the election time, they had bets on that. They've got different types of bets for all different sports and including one of our favorite sports that we love to talk about, MMA and also boxing. So make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code Wayne in.